What we were doing as an academic health science network is talking to people about our local approach to the patient safety collaborative and how we can be supported to develop um, something locally for our patients and service users. So we're really lucky that we've got this cohort of staff who come to work, they're motivated by something greater than themselves, greater than money, and they want to give an excellent experience to service users and patients. And one of the things that we can do as organisations and leaders in the system is to put that culture and systems in place to help them to do that. NHSIQ was the national improvement body for the NHS, hosted by NHS England, um, really um, has a, a role of um, connecting and building networks, uh, joining up the work that's going on across all of the academic health science networks and uh, really being the conduit for spreading innovation, good practice and the outcomes of the collaboratives. Sepsis is an exaggerated harmful systemic response to infection. It will progress to multi-organ failure and death if left untreated. Advancing quality will identify the sepsis population through clinical coding. The aim of the AQ measure set is to improve the early recognition and treatment of patients arriving at hospital with sepsis. Advancing quality aims to improve the diagnosis and treatment of patients with sepsis by sharing best practice through local networking and collaborative events. And I really think today is a really good opportunity for you to think about what your shared purpose is for the region. Because we know that that's one of the things that really works in collaboratives, is people being brought together in a, in a network to achieve a common goal. Well, simulation is modelling a flow of individual patients or events. So if you like, it, it's like having a virtual world where you can see your system on a computer and you can start to experiment with what might happen if you drive changes to it. It's all about patients, isn't it? So they're the key people. You know, we wouldn't be here if we didn't have patients. And we need to talk to patients, involve them at the beginning. They're the people and their carers that have experienced the health service and know what it means when something goes wrong or they've suffered harm. Collaboratives have to make people feel like they want and are able to do something. So a national campaign's brilliant, but what does that mean for me locally? And that's where I think the power of local works like this will really really add value, letting people say how does that affect us so that we are steering it to what we need as well as feeding into the national programme. As the innovation manager I'm all about collaboration. I think if we innovate in isolation we're not going to get as far as we do if we work with partners like the AHSN or Lancaster University or UCLan and those service users together. Collaboration is the way to go I think. It makes it much easier for us to come to an event like this um, where we know people like Liz and you because we know that the subjects are going to be 100% relevant and probably equally importantly the people that attend are the innovation leaders from all, all, all the North West in the NHS so it's hugely important to us. People can then start to think about the use of this technology. Very We've got some projects already going on within the university on patient safety, yeah. um, research projects. Also because we're a large teaching provider of healthcare clinicians, patient safety is paramount in terms of teaching as well. As I see the way you're taking the lead on innovation and the enormous commitment and enthusiasm, for me that makes a journey worthwhile. As we go around the country we're um, really getting this, a good sense of what is important to people locally which is fantastic 